Hi there. Welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. I'm coming to you as usual from the Photostock studio up here in beautiful northern Michigan, where today we're going to go out and do some wet plate photography. Um, I had a workshop here this weekend in the workshop, and uh, I taught some people on the process, and um, it's one of these kind of processes where there's a lot uh, involved, a lot of different chemistry and things, so it's kind of crazy for me to just do it for a weekend, and considering I haven't done it for a few years, I thought I'd get out there in the field and make some uh, photographs, um, some collodion plates, if you will, tin types, if you will. Uh, so I have this cool thing that I made a few years ago. Uh, I took an old motorcycle trailer and I revamped it into a darkroom trailer, and I'm able to go out into the field and do the wet plate collodion process out in the field. Now, when I say wet plate, I mean it's a process in which I make the plate. I coat it with an emulsion, and I have to make the photograph and develop it all before that emulsion dries. So hence the term wet plate. Um, the material that I use is called collodion or a salted collodion. But I'll explain that more later. I'm going to use this as an introductory video to the process, and then I'm going to do a few instructional videos over the next few weeks and maybe months that involve the process and show you how to do it um, at home. Um, it's not terribly easy, but once you get going on it, it's not terribly hard either. So anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and hook up the trailer and going to take it out on the road and find a couple of cool things to photograph, and uh, I'll take you along on the journey. How's that sound? Anyway, um, bear with me while I get the trailer hooked up, and we'll get to it. So here we are. I brought you to a spot that I've been wanting to photograph for a while now. An old abandoned house up here in northern Michigan. And uh, I think it's time to unload and see what I can do here. First things first, I'm working with the big cameras is to get the tripod set up. So that's what we're going to do here first. And uh, we're going to be working with an 8x10 camera here, my uh, good old trusty Deerdorf. So we'll be getting that out here in a second. First, I'm going to get my tripod set up here, reasonably level. And we're going to need a little bit of elevation on that. Got my handy dandy levers there, uh, auto extending legs. So there we are, I'm just about set. So it's time to get the, uh, get the camera out of the car. So uh, this is my trusty old Deerdorf that I bought from an old roommate of mine named Mike Johnson quite a few years ago. And he took real good care of it and I'm trying to do the same, but it is getting a lot of use and uh, it's gonna get a lot more. So. So. Be very careful in setting this up on your tripod. So you don't want any mishaps and have this big beautiful camera go down like my Osmo did the other day. There'll be a link up there right now so you can see what happened to that. I'm still waiting on it. And uh, fortunately it only costs a little less than hundred bucks to have it fixed. And I should have that pretty soon. There'll be a follow up on that one. Anyway, so I've got that set in there pretty good. This is the old Deerdorf. I'm going to be shooting it in a horizontal mode, so I'll be changing the back here. You can see the back, vertical, horizontal. I'm gonna drop that in. And we'll get my shot set up. Get the dark cloth ready. My hat turned around, and we're going to get underneath this. The wind's a little hindrance, but it won't be too bad. Get my lens opened up first. Oh yeah, 
Oh boy, this is great. It's just like I pictured it. So, you get a little elevation on the camera. And what I'm going to have to do is elevate the front standard a little bit. Those of you that worked with view cameras, you'll know what I'm talking about. But what basically I'm doing is lifting up the, uh, the lens. So it's almost like lifting the tripod. I'm getting a little higher view on the subject that I'm photographing. I have to be careful that I have a lens that covers the complete plate that I'm putting in there to be able to do this though. And this lens will. This is a uh, this lens is a an old 1920s Verito, which is kind of a soft focus lens, a really beautiful lens. And there we go. And a little bit more elevation. In addition to that elevation, I can get a little bit more by doing this. It's a handy dandy little trick that the Deerdorf does as well. So let's see what we've got. Ah, I think I'm perfect. Yes. Yes, that's it. Okay, so now I got the camera set up. It's ready to go. I'm ready to go pour a plate. So, welcome to my uh, trailer here. This is the darkroom trailer. It's very simple. Got a sink. Got a silver nitrate tank. This is where my silver uh, nitrate will go in. Um, right here is where I'll be doing my work, pour pouring my collodion plates. Um, what you have to do is I basically, in a nutshell, is I, I coat a plate with collodion and then I take that plate and I put it inside of the silver nitrate for four minutes. I pull it out, I put it into a film holder and then I take that film holder and I put it in the camera that we've set up outside there and uh, then I make my exposure. And once that exposure is made, I bring it back here into the dark room and I process it here in this sink. Now all of this I can be, can be done under red light. Now you can see my red lights here maybe and I've got some white light and I also have a uh, I have running water in here, which is a really nice thing to have in a uh, wet plate trailer. And uh, so I think with that, we'll get going here. I'm going to reach down to my tank here and uh, pull out my, my tank of silver nitrate. And then we are going to pour that very gently into this uh, container. I'll, do is now, I'll set up my drying rack here and pull out my silver nitrate. And I will take out my fixer and I set that up over here. And these are my collodion bottles. This is my collodion and this is my pour off bottle. You'll see what I'm talking about when I do that. And uh, let's see. Here's my developer. Okay, well, let's get on with this. I am going to use a, a um, funnel here. I'm going to open this door so that I get a little bit more light and a little bit more air while I'm doing this. What I'm going to do is just pour this down into my tank. I use the funnel because I want to make sure it's all going in there because it's not cheap. It's basically a 9% solution of uh, silver nitrate. And uh, I can reuse it over and over again and keep replenishing it. And uh, that's for another story. Like I said, this is a uh, introductory video. Just to try to get you interested in some wet plate. And uh, at the same time, right about now, there should be a uh, link up here uh, to some other wet plate things that I've done in the past. Not really instructional, but they just show you what, what we go through to do this. So anyway, then I've got my, uh, my dipper here. The dip goes in there. That's so that I can dip my plates in. You'll see that in a minute as well. And then I just cover it up so that I'm not evaporating out my silver nitrate. It's good to have a couple of trays. I have a pouring tray. I have another tray that I leave in the sink. I'll put this other tray here. Now the tray that I leave in the sink, I fill with water or about halfway. 
And that I'm going to use as my fixing tray. Um, basically, it stops the development. When I'm developing, I drop it into the water and rinse it, and that stops the action of the developer. And then I have to put a fixer on it. All right, so I've got my water set up. I've got my collodion ready to go. I like to loosen the tops. That's about it. Let's get the plates and pour them. So before I go any further, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting the plate into. This is my wet plate holder. And on one side is a place where you put the plate in face down. And you put that on the back as a restrainer. You close it off. And then when I put it in the camera, I put it in this side toward the lens. And when I pull that dark slide out, I have my emulsion side up at the plate. And then I can put it in the camera and make my exposure on it. So anyway, that's just showing you ahead of time what I'm going to be doing kind of behind your back in the dark. Now I always set this up ahead of time back here and get it ready to go. Um, and I reach over here and I grab one of my plates. Now these plates that we use are, um, uh, I get them at a place called Main Trophy Supply. I'll put the links back down in the bottom of this video uh, and more so in the instructional videos that will, will come after this one. But they come with trophy aluminum. What it does is it comes with a, uh, a nice plastic coating, which is great because you don't have to clean the plates or anything. You just tear off the coating and it's ready to go. And then right here, what I do is I like to do a certain style that's called the waiter tray style of pouring my plate. And I open up my pour off bottle and I open up my bottle of collodion. And uh, then what I'm gonna do is just level the plate off. I'm gonna pour a dollop of it on there. I'm not sure if you can see this really well. Get a little bit of slop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it around to each corner and just cover that plate, cover, coat that plate nicely. And then I rock it like that to get the excess off in my pour off bottle. I bring it over here. I dab off the excess collodion. And while this is happening, this collodion skins over. It dries very quickly and it starts to skin over. And it's ready to go right now. So what I do is I open up my tank, I pull back my silver nitrate, and I dip it down inside of the tank. Now I go for four minutes and then we'll pull it out and we'll see where we are. Okay, so now we're dark uh, or under red light as you can see. Now one of the things I didn't explain about collodion is that it is orthochromatic and unlike most films and digital sensors of today which are panchromatic or see all colors of light, collodion only sees one color and that's blue or ultraviolet light. So therefore we can work under red light comfortably and not fog our plates. Now before getting the plate out of the silver nitrate, I'm going to put on some nitrile gloves here because um, silver nitrate is very staining um, and it will stain your fingers black and it'll be that way for about a week uh, after working. So what I like to do is keep as much of it off of me as possible. Um, it also stains your clothing. Uh, as you can see, I've got my collodion uniform on. Uh, there's a lot of black spots that you might not be seeing. And um, if you're trying to work with a process that remains clean, uh, you should probably do something else. Uh, but anyway, uh, now the time to get the uh, plate out of the uh, silver nitrate here. I've got my film holder ready to go here, so it's time to go. Now when I pull it out, I pull it out slowly, and I like to leave the drip edge down so that it doesn't flow back on itself. I put it onto a piece of paper towel that I have ready, and then I wipe the back down to get the excess silver nitrate off there because I do not want that going into my camera for obvious reasons. It's pretty corrosive and it will, it will eventually degrade the wood on the camera. Uh, I drop the plate into the plate holder, put the restraining back on, close it up and we're ready to go make an exposure okay so got my plate ready to go here put it down I like to take one more look at my uh, scene just to make sure that everything is still set correctly and I am there everything looks fine so I'm going to set my lens. Now, as I was saying, the exposure on this, it's like about a one ASA, so it's a very slow exposure. 
So I'm going to be doing an exposure on this for probably about, I'd say six seconds wide open. And so I'll get my lens closed down and ready to go. Get the shutter cocked, F4. All right, now comes the moment of truth. We get the holder in, pull the dark slide out, and I'm gonna make my exposure. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six. I made it a six second exposure. So we'll see where we are with that. Put the dark slide in, take it out. We're gonna go back in the dark room now, come on. Okay, so here we are back in the dark room. I'm gonna pour some developer into my shot glass here. Set that up to the side, ready to go. I've got my silver tank covered. I've got my tray of water ready to go here. And now what I'm gonna do is take the plate out of the film back and I'm not sure you can see this, but I'm gonna pour the developer on and we are developing. I rock that around and I can see my latent image starting to come in already. Beautiful. There we go. I'm in the water. A little bit more water, a little rinsing. You got to rinse the plate off before you fix it and uh, just to stop the action of the developer. There we go. We're ready to go. So now for the rest of this process here, the fixing, I can go under white light to do it and I can show you what it looks like. So now it's time for the grand reveal here. We're going to bring the uh, plate and the fix outside so that you can see what happens. So you can see there's the image on there. And here we go with the fix. Fix is still a little granular, but that's fine. Ah, look at that. There we go. Beautiful little shot. So, gonna make a couple more plates before I wrap up. So there you have it. We've made our first wet plate photograph together. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did. Um, I'm going to get down to making some more plates right now. Uh, in the future, I hope that you'll uh, keep up with the channel here and look for some more instructional videos on this process. Um, when they do happen and when I do get them in there, there'll be a link right up here. Um, and until that time, enjoy. Uh, if you had a good time, maybe uh, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, maybe tell a friend about it. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this and I'd like to do a lot more. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.